All right, so you've seen Selling Sunset, million dollar listing. Let's see what a real day in the life of a real estate agent looks like. I'm gonna be making about 50 phone calls. Wanna talk about your new listing in Pacoima? I looked at the comps, they're like 165. You you hammered the price down to, to one one plus your fees? I'm also gonna be reaching out to my agents. I have 14 agents that I coach and mentor and some drama might be coming up at the city courthouse. Stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Really cute starter home, two bedrooms, one and a half bath, about 900 square feet. It's a bit of a fixer, but for LA, the price range is fantastic. We're actually just east of LA in Simi Valley. Come on in. This is what $470,000 gets you just east of LA. Sorry guys, always on my phone. We got 14 active listings right now. So there's always something to do. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this community. It's uh, it, it's really quiet on a cul-de-sac. Yeah, the home is a bit of a starter. Kind of has the feel of a condo, but it's actually a single family residence. It's a planned unit development. So there is an association to it. It does come with a two car garage. And then there's a cool little park if you have little ones. I got about 15 calls to return and to make in the next 15 minutes. So let's see if we can knock it out. Is um, text the best way to communicate? Okay. All right, doctor, thank you. Thank you so much. Cool. Yo! Hey, what's up, man? There he is. Good see to you, see you. Cool. Good to see you. All right, so let's 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 share a little bit about what we're doing, because right. I think this is actually pretty cool. It's yeah. not the glitz and glamour exactly. of exactly. open houses, brokers open. Not what you get in the real estate to do. So we actually met with Pastor Mike's seller yesterday. Gorgeous home. He's he redid, redid the home from the studs up. He added about a thousand square feet back in 2015, but unfortunately, it's not reflecting in the county clerk's office. So we're here at the city to pull some records. Yes. We just want the clarification in grabbing these permits and taking it over to the county recorder's office so that everything's on the up and up. So in 2021, they did have a building permit here, which um, is for oh, look at this. replacing six square feet of drywall at the kitchen ceiling due to water damage. And it was finaled. You can see here, it okay. was finaled on October 27th, 2022. Is that a word? Finals? It is in building language. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't work for Daniel Webster. <laughs> um, yes, it was Just finaled. kidding, Finalized. just kidding. Finalized, finaled. New word we learned, finaled. We're gonna finaled all these uh, real estate transactions that we got going on. Thank you so Thank much. You so You're much. welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, we got exactly what we needed. So now the next step is have a conversation with the seller and see how they would like to proceed. I got to think he's going to be really appreciative of the, uh, you know, it is extra work. I feel like detectives right now. Yeah, exactly. We, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call you Clemente Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, mission accomplished. We got the right paperwork that we needed from the city. Now we're gonna explain it to our sellers, make sure that everything makes sense, that they're able to make the right decision going forward. We're gonna head out, grab a quick bite. We're gonna meet with one of our agents, Raul, he's on fire. So, see you soon. Thanks for coming along today on a day in the life of a realtor. Stay tuned for our next episode as you see how we wrap up our day. It's gonna be a good one.